In this video, we're going to solve a problem from AIME 1990. It is given that A, B, X, Y are real numbers. AX plus BY equals to 3. AX squared plus BY squared equals to 7. AX cubed plus BY cubed equals 16. AX to the 4 plus BY to the 4 equals 42. And we have to find AX to the 5 plus BY to the 5. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. We can see that there is a pattern among the four equations and the expression that we are supposed to find, which is that they are all combination of a times some power of x plus b times some power of y. So our first equation is x to the power of 1, and then power 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4, and we are asked to find when the expression turns to the fifth power. So, if I try to multiply x plus y on both sides of the first equation, then I will get then part of the left-hand side of the product will be the left-hand side of the second equation, a squared plus by squared. So let's see whether we can remove some, remove the other parts, kind of the residues, so to get some relations on between the first two equations. So let's go. When I multiply by this by x plus y, then it's equal to ax squared plus axy plus bxy plus by squared. And that is ax squared plus by squared plus xy multiplied by a plus b. So as we can see, some of them, part of the result of the product is 7 and is added by xy times a plus b. So I can rewrite this, these steps into 3 times x plus y is equal to 7 plus xy multiplied by a plus b. Now let's see what we can achieve. If I try to multiply x plus y on both sides of the second equation instead. So ax squared plus by squared multiplied by x plus y is equal to ax cubed plus by cubed. Using a similar argument, I can kind of speed up that a bit and say it's added by xy times ax plus by. Now, for this equation, there are three parts that we can tell the value. Labeled in green. And so therefore, 7 times x plus y equals 16 added by 3 times xy. So this is the second equation that we can get kind of relating only x and y in the blue equation. Now let's see what we can get by multiplying x plus y on both sides of the third equation. Now doing similar things. And using a similar argument, I can regroup the terms. And the other parts would be xy multiplied by ax squared plus by squared. And so therefore, 16 times x plus y equals 42 added by xy times 7. Now it seems that these two equations, instead of the first one, the second and the third one are more useful because they, I can see them as two equations on two unknowns, where the two unknowns are x, y, and x plus y. So let's try to gather them and rewrite them so to make it more good looking. 
So I can rewrite that as 3xy. Maybe I should say that as 7 times x plus y minus 3xy equals 16. On well, the other equation, as 16 times x plus y minus 7xy equals 42. So now we can see that if I treat the yellow part and the blue part as an unknown, then there are two equations in two unknowns. So I can solve them. So first equation times 7 minus second equation times 3, I will get exactly 1x plus y to be equal to 112 minus 126, and that is negative 10. And I can put this back and solve that xy. And that's not minus 10, that's actually minus 14 arithmetic error. And so xy is then minus 38. So then I've kind of re put away a and b and got some relation on just two numbers, x and y. But I'm not going to solve for exact values of x and y because they are not that's not important. Well, all I need is to find the value of ax to the 5 plus b times y to the 5. So let's use our previous method and see whether we can obtain the value of that directly. So let's multiply x plus y with a times x to the 4 plus b times y to the 4. And that is equal to ax to the 5 plus b times y to the 5 plus xy times ax cubed plus by cubed. And from this, we can say that, therefore, now we know that x plus y is minus 14, so we can say that minus 14 multiplied by 42 equals our required expression added by minus 38 times 16. So it's now time for some arithmetic. So our final answer would be 38 times 16 minus 14 times 42. And the first one would be 608 subtracted by 588. So our final answer is 20.